बहुत ही यूनिक हिस्ट्री है यहाँ की जो कि हमारे गाइड खालिद हमको एक्सप्लेन कर रहे हैं सो प्लीज़ टू वॉच अगर आपने कसाबा का एपिसोड नहीं देखा वो देखें अब हसन टावर जो कि अरबात में है जो कैपिटल ऑफ मोराको है वहाँ पर हम आए हैं और ये हमारा एट डेज का ट्रिप है First, I'm going to explain to you about this uh, minaret, which is Hassan Tower. That's what we have in the program, Hassan Tower. Uh, if you remember my speech this morning, I said that the stronghold victory, okay? The stronghold victory empire. That's what gave us Rabat. Stronghold River uh, victory, it's the, the 12th century empire by a Berber dynasty called Al Muwahhad. And that king, who is the founder of that dynasty, he wanted to make big empire, okay? With three capitals. I said Seville, Spain, okay? And Rabat here, and Marrakesh. And you know, that at the old time, we need mosques to indoctrinate people. Because mosque doesn't have any the meaning just of religion, but also political, political in education as well. And the kings, whenever uh, king, any king came to power, he wanted to construct his symbol of power, which is the mosque. So he constructed three minarets. One is Kutubiya in Marrakesh. Second one is this, Hassan Tower, and Seville. Have you ever been in Spain? Yes. Did you go to Seville? Yes. A minaret, tall minaret, now is a church. They call it Geralda or Giralda. Remember that? Geralda or Geralda, it was a minaret constructed by the, this, this king who I'm talking about. His name is the Mansour, the victorious. And he built three minarets. This one is unfinished. He wants to make it the tallest, even taller than, than, uh, than Seville, which is 120 meters. This is just 44, because he died before finishing it. Could it be a minaret that you will see in Marrakesh, we will visit it, it's 75 meters high. It's not easy to construct this in that time. I'm talking about 12th century. And he is the one who made a symbol of Morocco by the architecture style. If you see Arabic word or Islamic word, you will see all the mosques are round. No? Round. Okay, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, here is square, because Morocco wants to be different from the caliph. You know the word caliph? The caliph? Caliph, it means the, the, the political and spiritual leader in the Muslim world. Caliph from the Middle East, they are alone and we are alone. We are a kingdom. That's the meaning of it. And that's what's reflected our architecture. So all the architecture uh, are different from Middle East, even if we are Muslim, uh, uh, but it's always different. This three minarets, Hassan Tower including, uh, it's square, okay? And it's Moorish, the beginning of the Moorish style. Moorish always, I'm talking about Andalusia. The first king who adopted the new civilization from, from space, South Spain, and to bring it here all right so it's unfinished but still we can hear the call of the prayer we call it azan the azan the call of prayer for the azan five times a day you know that the muslim pray five times a day okay this ruins here with these pillars they were renovated in the 60s and 70s but it was a mosque with a ceiling okay was a mosque with the ceiling and it is the biggest also uh, mosque at that time of, of Morocco. But destroyed by the famous earthquake, Lisbon. You've heard of Lisbon earthquake? Yeah. It was in 1755. That's the time when we had the Lisbon. Morocco was destroyed, not only Morocco, Algeria, part of Algeria, of course, Spain, Europe, 
and some also places in Italy by that earthquake. It was big. Uh, it's like uh, it's like what now 7.8 of uh, you, you use Richter Richter yeah same yeah so it's same what happening now also in Turkey and Syria so that's destroyed all this building okay all this uh, beautiful uh, mosque but still the original wall yeah. can you Old walls here that's originally from 12th century, restored of course many times. And it's a Roman architecture, by the way, and we use lime, lime, sand, and uh, the mud, the mud, and also terracotta bricks. You can see it in the back, and stones. And we build, we build this kind of walls higher, but we restore them. The halls, it has. These holes, they have two meanings. One is ventilation, air, for the, the, the especially when it's rain, the water comes, okay, so ventilated, go. So you put the holes for that. Second is pigeon nest. No. <laughs> it says for scaffolding scaffolding okay so two reasons scaffolding and uh, it's for uh, vantage for air let's go to this beautiful building which is closed now we used to have it open but corona stopped it because the king uh, comes every friday to pay a visit to his grandfather Muhammad V okay the king Muhammad V and his father Hassan II it's a Muslim that's built by the father, uh, King, his name is Hassan II. Well, we will repeat it because it's our modern history, we repeat it. So, current is Muhammad VI, father Hassan II, the grandfather is Muhammad V, okay? Muhammad V is buried here. And this uh, Muslim was for him, to honor him. His uh, uh, son, which is Hassan II, who constructed it. Why? Because we Moroccans will love this king. What he did for our independence, he was a militant also. With the Moroccans, he asked for French. He signed uh, a, uh, a, a paper asking for France to leave, which made the French enraged and exiled him for two years in Madagascar and Corsica. They took all his money and they sent the whole family. They took him from the, the, the royal palace with only one jilaba with one clothes and took him and all the uh, royal family to Madagascar. And that's what really made the Moroccans enraged against the French and the Moroccans, all political parties, everyone in Morocco start demonstration, violence against the French. And that's what also uh, pushed the French to bring him back and later on, after one year, Morocco got the independence in 1956. 1956. So 1912 to 1956. It's a shame for us to be colonized because Moroccans, you, it's a great history. It was not easy for us to accept to be colonized, okay? This, uh, this uh, thing, why also we love this king? Because he is the one who said to Vichy regime, you remember Vichy regime in France? Yeah. To, to Vichy regime, I'm not going to give you the Jews. The Jews asked, the, the Vichy asked him to give him the Jews, okay, the Moroccan Jews. You know that we have a big diaspora of the Jew, Jews, Moroccans, Jewish, uh, Jews were living here before going, of course, to Israel. There is uh, almost one million that time, okay, uh, 300, 50, at least they lived in 60s, 50,000 I mean, to 62 Israel. And these people, you were living in Morocco. Vichy regime asked him to give him the Jews, to kill them. And he said, he dared, of course, uh, to say that I'm not going to give you any Jews, I have only Moroccans. I have only Moroccans. I don't have the Jews, I have all these people are Moroccan. If you want to kill them, you kill me first. And that was a remarkable speech that time and that he did not even come there. 
and that's uh, what made him also a famous all over the world. And by the way, uh, Washington, uh, New York Times, uh, New York Times uh, gave him a man of peace as of the century in 2018. He was rewarded two times. Okay, because he was a man of peace. So he's the one. I think a Danish king also said that to, to Vichy regime, but he, this, uh, he officially said, no, I'm not going to give you any Jews. And that's why uh, also, uh, of course, uh, the Moroccan Jews, they love him. And also all the Jews of uh, all over the world, they respect him for that, that principle. So he's buried there, but also the King Hassan II, when he died in 1999, he's buried also here. So two tombs of the, the famous kings they are inside uh, uh, that. Uh, the mosque, the new mosque is there. When the king comes every Friday to pray, he prays in that mosque there.